Was this McSkillet's inventory in 2023? McSkillet was one of the first and biggest Counter-Strike skins. Jesus. Since YouTubers in the world, and at the age of 18, he founded his own CSGO skins gambling site. And because of that, his Steam account with some real legendary skins got banned. But in this video, I don't want to talk about him and what happened to him. I just want to show you his most legendary skins and how much his inventory would be worth in 2023. McSkillet had some super crazy. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I love how normal YouTubers just like. Surfing while you do a commentary, maybe some gameplay highlights, but let's show you the fucking hobby highlights. <laughs> What's going on? How much his inventory would be <laughs> worth in 2023? Um, McSkillet had some super crazy orbs. For example, he had this orb Medusa wow. with a Titan Cat of 14 Hollow applied on the scope. He also um, had two super oh, crazy that's... souvenir orbs. For ex oh my god, with the luminosity in the back, bro. Souvenir. For example, he had the souvenir dragon lore with a neo signature on the scope, and then the stream hack pink DD pad, wow. which is as well an absolutely wild orb. It's pretty impressive that he didn't put all his money into the main guns, he as well bought some really, really impressive pistols. His craziest pistol oh. is definitely this Desert Eagle Crimson Whip that has four. Looks weird in CS2. Pixel, for um, um, I wish he showed them in CSGO, but Bruder, crazy, crazy Desert Eagle Crimson Webs. Desert Eagles with Cato 14s are so exceedingly rare, chat. This is like probably a one of two for X Solo, maybe. They don't exist. It's crazy. This Desert Eagle Crimson Whip that has four Cato 14 hollows applied. Wow. And this is well, a fire and ice craft. But he has another crazy deal wow. with an IPP hollow applied on the best sticker position. And this one is called a flamethrower craft. Max Gillett was a passionate souvenir. Wow, that is so rare. A collector and he owns this crazy P2000 Amber Fade with an IBP foil applied and this one is super rare. His other P2000 is even... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. That's probably like 50-60k. Crazier because this one has four Titan Keto 14 hollow 40k maybe. Was applied and the colors of the craft match perfectly. And now I want to show you his wow. crazy... Oh, my, I remember bro. I remember the video that he always made inventory updates. And he bought this. It was the number one lowest float AKK Sun 661 scar pattern. And he said how much he overpaid because it was the number one. Now, um, it got beaten since the incident. It's not the number one anymore. AKs. By the way, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the videos because my goal is to hit 15,000 subscribers by the end of the month. He actually had a few crazy AKs. How far is he away? Max Skillet was... 10.8. Nah, boys, if you wanna leave us up, right there, he's a good guy. Let's see the rest. For example, this AK Blue Gem 661 pattern, which is the second lowest float 661 pattern in the world. He as well had the super crazy low float hydroponic crazy. with four Cat of 14 reason haulers applied. This M4A4 haul with an IBP oh. hauler applied on the back was his main M4, but he also played the souvenir radiation. Oh, oh, oh. Max Skelet was one of the only people that was an All-Stars enjoyer. He had a whole new collection with All-Stars um, in best condition. And I remember I, he always did inventory updates and he always waited, waited for, um, for uh, uh, to, to, to buy, like I think the XM was always um, missing. And then one day he bought it and finished the whole collection, a whole collection All-Stars. Hazard. And the most expensive knife he had was this blue wow. gem rambit and the most expensive gloves are these factory new hatch maces. But how much is his inventory worth in 20? Let me guess. He has a bunch of dealers as well. I'd assume uh, probably like if he considered Cat of 14s and blue gems. 800k to 1.2 mil maybe? 23. It wasn't quite easy to price check some of his items because some exist only once in the world. But his inventory nowadays is worth something in between 550 to 600,000 dollars. That's it? Like and subscribe for more. Okay. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, Monte did the...